Tell the homies, little booty do this, the scooted booty. Oh my God, bro, this bitch nigga actually responded to me. Somebody tag the mayor, Daryl Steinberg, on this one. I got gang members on my page trying to bully us and harass us about gang shit while at the same time coaching little league children. Little all they do is the squirt bullet. Man, I'm gone, all you niggas, bruh. This the problem with the hood. Y'all got niggas that feed off the hood and turn kids into criminals as the gang leaders, as the people who trying to front and take money from the community to help the kids. A broke, bum-ass nigga like Bam, look at his own son with his own son turned into. The allegations on his own son, first his own son's from Oak Park and hates where we're from. He's actually shot the little homie. This nigga, I, listen, nigga, Bam's son, I almost kicked Bam's son in jail because he was trying to jump on Boo Boo and Wooji and them little nephew or son or whatever he was. Cause he was from the M. Let me do the math, nigga. This nigga own son he be with, be funking with us. And they niggas be scared because that's Bam's son and he run the hood. Little Udi Doody just scooty Bam was a crip first. He came to my hood late. He'll never know what it is to be from the gardens, bro. But let's get this clear though. He was at Endercom, but it didn't work out because he stole that shit. Because this nigga's broken, he's a bum. This nigga dope thing, look at these niggas' pictures. That's a dope thing that we got representing our neighborhood, our area. Why you think this shit been sold out? Why you think we don't have nobody that's making millions or getting out the hood going anywhere? Because little Udi Doody's just scooted booted, bitch. Oh, you niggas. <laughs> Bam, I can't believe you commented. Now you got to answer. The questions, nigga, we, you know, you owe this shit. You thought this shit went so long, we forgot you snitch. It was two times you be telling the police, them, that wasn't you in the, with the gun, nigga. And when they told me you snitched and told who had the gun, I know you did. Because, nigga, you done jumped in my car with your broke ass and tried to beg me to leave my pistol. Yeah, that's what type of nigga you is. You run the hood, though. Okay, bet. <laughs> you did more shit than me. Okay, bet. Nigga, listen. We can't have niggas with the mind of the kids that are criminals they self leading children. The last thing a nigga with a criminal past and a nigga involved in criminal shit, basically what I'm telling you is he's going to remove his messages because he told on himself. He's on my page game banging. But on the other page, you're with Daryl Steinberg in the city and Asians and white people acting like you here for the kids. That's the problem. That's why the hood and the ghettos keep losing. Niggas like this that are insidious. He just got a trap spot he opened up in the hood. He's a bum too. These niggas take him and put them in their trap spots because he ain't got nowhere to live. And then he bring all the kids in. How he know the kids? He been coaching them. You dumbasses. Now you come out to where I live. You come out to where these white people is coaching the kids. These men are real role models. They really got jobs and businesses and respectful. They don't, they don't, they don't do drugs. They ain't gang banging, nothing. So when they mold your kids, they molding your kids into great human beings. This nigga Bam need more people to buy drugs for him. Cause when you get my age, nigga, I could buy way more drugs than you can ever get. Give me, bitch, please. Bad nigga, you told my own bitch, hey, don't fuck with him. You the one who got her tripping with me still. I don't even fuck with her. But she called me every few years like, was you really trying to fuck my friend? Nah, nigga, you see me and went back and told the bitch because you knew her as a kid. But when she got older, you tried to get at her and say, you should fuck with me, not him. You're a pedo, bitch ass nigga. Now, a pedo ain't just when you manipulate women, young women. You be manipulating little kids to do what? Fuck shit, I can't believe you and sorry ass G-Man commenting. This all started basically because G-Man hood rat ass mama got on my page commenting about my homeboys. So now I commented back, come to find out why y'all dissing me, y'all asked G-Man actually getting his house shot up by old pork niggas over some 6 9 bullshit beef. Now let me get into the 6 9 bullshit beef if you don't know. See, these niggas is really out here gangbanging trying to keep this bullshit going on. For bullshit reasons. They think they're going to get a rap deal out of it dissing niggas though. Huh? Mind you, this nigga Black Nino, bam, that's what he called himself. He's a whack rapper who tried to get on himself. 
You see what I'm saying? His son rolled with Mozzie and Bishop. He in pictures with them. How can you be top dog from the hood that fuck with him? Oh, yeah, the back door been open, bitch, huh? See? <laughs> yeah, these niggas out here hating. So, bam, when a nigga get on my page and I say what I say out of respect for Drake, because Drake was a real 6'9 nigga. A nigga, bam, is a homeless, bum-ass nigga, too. So, he's on drugs, too. But y'all still get him to coach teams, get him spots to trap out of while y'all gone and shit. Don't, don't, let's not forget, he came up and be fucking with the Oak Park niggas that shot up our hood, bitch. His mama from Oak Park. His baby mama from Oak Park. His kids from Oak Park. Gangsta Jeff beat him up twice, funking over the bitch. <laughs> Your top nigga got beat up by everybody in the hood. And the nigga get on my page talking about, Cody, you never made me turn it down. Oh, Jesus, I did. Because let me tell you about something. Them was real, my, really my hitters you was going to saying, don't fuck with me when I dropped that motherfucking MetaView documentary. <laughs> you niggas was hating on me because I got a camera and came to where I grew up at and started to learn to turn, teach myself how to film. Because I'm going to get out this bitch. Oh, he's shooting films and he finna blow up, nigga. Don't fuck with him because he ain't, he ain't go through us. Gatekeeping ass bum niggas. So when you got a bunch of gatekeeping ass niggas, you can't have no success because they all trying to absorb it. You got to go through them and they're losers. Get the game real quick. <laughs> it's crazy. G man, I'm gonna make a whole video about your ass. Cause really, your mama's a hood rat nigga who fucked everybody from the hood. We just trying to get a list of everybody she fucked. It's kind of like uh, I'm the only nigga that didn't fuck, so she mad at me, nigga, about something. But hey, I done did the most sliding and all that shit for the hood. So how a nigga like you who ain't never did nothing supposed to be top dog? That's why they made a fool of you and then us, and then we had to separate ourselves. We don't fuck with them fuck niggas. Nobody seen you come up with us. You was at the heights with your mama house, I know, because I seen you. You was helping us pack up packs, nigga, at your grandma's house. You feel me? I don't think you understand. My homeboy fucked with your motherfucking grandma. See what I'm saying? So, I know where you was all the time, bro, when you was all this type of shit. So, when you talking shit now, bro, I'm telling you, bro, one time I seen you, my nigga, and them niggas was right next around the corner trying to drop zone your ass. And because me and your daddy came up together, bro, that's why you still on this motherfucking earth. Nigga, so I know you ain't disrespecting me on this motherfucker. And you done got pumped by these motherfuckers from, from an old park, nigga. And they ran you out the city, nigga. And you got brisk killed, punk. And you ain't do nothing. Nigga, I want to ask you since you motherfucking comment nothing in my comment box. Nigga, hey, how many times you get your mama house shot up? Why you didn't do nothing yet? Why you bothering me and you ain't talking to them niggas? Why you running to Houston and shit? Why you bringing problems to niggas? And you ain't about that life, nigga. Man, listen, I got a video on MetaView documentary where I'm congratulating your mom for sending her son to motherfucking college. Your ass fell and came back and came to my hood trying to gang bang like you top nigga. It's some top niggas that do top shit. Rest in peace, little James, nigga. He was getting on shit, doing what you need to do to be from an elite MetaView standpoint for you to just come in as a rapper, nigga, and you really ain't nobody. You a broke-ass nigga. You living with your mama right now. You talking about when you see me, I better have that energy. Nigga, you done got your whole hood shot up. Nigga, we ain't fucking with you like that. We ain't funking with them like that. We didn't vouch for that sucker shit. Yeah, you want to holler? Nah, nigga, we didn't tell you to go funking with them niggas. And let me tell you about that. I felt sorry for your ass because you soft as fuck. And that heat you got wasn't really coming for your ass. It was your big homie couch who don't never be there. And you talking about I don't be there, nigga, bitch. I'm at my business, nigga, running my motherfucking million dollar op operation. I've been getting it, nigga. Actual daddy, that's what we was doing out here.